Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill and welcome to Suncoast FYI. Today we check in with an organization empowering LGBTQ plus youth in our community and we hear about an upcoming women's conference at the Source Church. Plus we Sometimes preview a play bringing jazz and theater history to life. Also Youth works to create inclusive communities by empowering LGBTQ plus youth and their allies. Here with more on their upcoming Also Prom event is Program Coordinator Amanda Just. Well this sounds like a wonderful program to be working on. It's truly a magical event that so many youth look forward to okay. every year. Okay, well we'll get to that in a moment, but uh, start by telling us what the Also Youth um, programs are. Uh, so as you mentioned, Also Youth does empower and support LGBTQ youth. Mm -hmm. um, we do quite a bit. We have a drop-in youth center in downtown Sarasota. That's where most of our programs happen. We offer two support groups a week. We have at least one therapy dog a week. We have uh, guest speakers that talk about life skills, um, managing money, simple car maintenance, things like that. Sure. We have a movie night, game night, uh, lots of arts and crafts stuff. Basically, whatever the youth want and need, we try to make it happen. Okay. And what age group is uh, the range? Primarily the ages 13 to 21. However, in the past year, Wednesday nights are young adult night, and that is for ages 18 to 24. And that has grown quite a bit. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure with all of our, yes, local colleges and things mm -hmm. in the community. Yes. You know, I think that's a wonderful opportunity. Um, so why, obviously, why, why do you feel this is needed in our community? I've worked with youth for over 10 years now, and there are so many things that are overwhelming and stressful for youth of any age. Mm -hmm. But when you are LGBTQ or you're questioning, it just makes things a lot harder. Mm -hmm. And statistically, there's still a lot of bullying for LGBTQ youth. Um, schools aren't always the best place for them. Home can be not so affirming. Um, they're more prone to mental health issues, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, suicide attempts. So they just need a lot of support and spaces where they feel safe and welcome. Yes, and know that they're okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, who can receive these, these programs? Now you mentioned there's a specific age, but what other kind of services do you, do you offer? A few times a year, uh, we have a family event, uh -huh. and that's for all ages and youth can bring family or their chosen family, and uh -huh. it can be parents, grandparents, siblings. Uh -huh. The last one we had, we even had a two-year-old hanging out, Aww. and we had some grandparents, so we had a wide range of uh, ages for that one. We do satellite meetups. We do one in Venice and one in Northport once a month, uh -huh. so we're able to reach South, South County youth, and the spring we'll be expanding into Bradenton because we see a lot of Manatee County youth as well. You also have scholarship program. Yes, and we'll yes. be announcing that in a couple months. Okay. Um, and we put all that on social media. Okay, so who, who's eligible out. for that? Um, anyone who is a graduating senior or in their first four years of college. And then if someone wanted to do a college level class over the summer, one year we had a recipient who used it towards um, a French immersion program that was at a college. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to get to your special event. Can you tell us about the Also Youth Prom? Yes. This is our seventh annual prom. It's for ages 14 to 20. It happens at the Out of Door Academy in Lakewood Ranch. Um, the Out of Door folks are just the best. We couldn't pull off this event without their help. Very welcoming, very supportive team over there. This year the theme is Enchanted Forest. We uh, have food, there's a photo booth, there's lots of dancing, we bring in some entertainment. Uh, it's just great. I, this will be my fourth prom uh -huh. that I've helped with uh -huh. and to be at the front desk to check people in, everyone it's is just exciting. beaming oh. when they come in. Oh. They're dressed how they want to dress, they've got whoever they want as their date within the 14 to 20 age range and everyone's just comfortable and 
I mean, some of us get a little misty eyed because sure. people are so happy I'm to sure. be there. And what's the cost associated with this program? We have a very, very generous donor who makes it free for youth to attend. That's wonderful. I know, we're really lucky. That's wonderful. Yeah. So what's what's the most exciting event for you? I know seeing everybody come in, but what what is the experience going to be like when they walk through the door? After they check in, um, there's food and there's the photo booth. At Towards the end of the night, we have superlatives, and they're not gender specific. So instead of a prom king or queen, we have cutest couple, um, fiercest LGBTQ advocate. Because the theme is Enchanted Forest, someone will get most enchanted if they're dressed to theme. Um, best friends. Um, there's a couple more that I can't think of right now, but that's really exciting for the youth too. And everyone just cheers everyone on, and sure? it's great. All the youth who are there can vote. We have little stations uh -huh. for people to vote for who should win. Okay. And and how can our community uh, get involved if they'd like to volunteer or know more about you? Well, for prom, we are set. Uh, we've got all the help we need. However, if anyone felt so inclined to make a donation to offset the other costs for okay. prom, that would be great. They can go to alsoyouth.org slash donate. Okay. Um, as far as helping out also year-round, there are so many different things. If someone wanted to reach out, we need help with fundraising, with marketing. If we have um, bigger events coming up, we, can, we have committees for those. If someone wanted help with outreach, we love our snack fairies okay. who drop off snacks for the center because we go through a lot. That sounds like something that we could manage. Yeah, right? yeah. There are all so, kinds of little ways to help and okay. every little bit goes a long way for a small organization. It does. Great. Well, thank you and have a wonderful time at the prom. Well, <laughs> and go to our social media and you'll see some pictures. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks, Amanda. Just ahead on Suncoast FYI, we learn about an upcoming women's conference at the Source Church. hosting an upcoming conference celebrating amazing women in our community. And here with more on their mission are pastors Ralph and Joanne Hone. Hi. Hi. Hey. Thanks Welcome for having Welcome back. Us. I've, I've seen you on our, on our commercials and I know a little <laughs> bit about your church, but why don't you tell our viewers who aren't familiar, what, what kind of church do you have before we jump into the conference that we're going to talk about later? <laughs> Well, Go ahead. We're, we're, <laughs> we're a non-denominational church, mm -hmm. and um, we're just, our, our whole heart is just to be a safe place for people to come uh, with whatever they're going through, mm -hmm. and just to be loved, and to be moved forward into an amazing life that God has for them. So we're just very practical, we're very uh, grounded in love for people in our community, and uh, we just love doing life together. And what a wonderful thing to do together. I know this, is, this isn't what you started out as. You were in, yes. in the business world yes. before. Yes. And you started the church in 2007? Yes. That's right. In, here in Sarasota? Yes. Well, yes. Bradenton, Sarasota, yes. yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, you both speak yes. at the church. What's, what's that? <laughs> Well, I, well here's, it's interesting. It's it. We cut each you, other off. You, yeah, it's like going say, you speak at the thing. same yeah, time. Yeah. No, no, that's not right. Yeah, People yeah, yeah. say, "How do you do it?" I said, "It works out good because when she makes a mistake, I can correct her." Uh -huh. <laughs> or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe but, the other yeah. way around. <laughs> Uh, but it just started off, we were, um, he really wanted to do a small group in our home together uh -huh. and I didn't speak publicly at all but he was like, honey, we got to do this and so we decided to do it and he was talking Aww. and then suddenly I had something to say and this back and forth started but we just find uh, people really love it because they get not just a man's perspective but also a woman's perspective yeah. and he's more of a preacher and I'm more of a teacher and so it just brings a balance which um, is a little bit lovely. interesting. That's lovely. So you have a weekly TV program called The Source. Yes. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's been really fun. We've yeah. been doing it for a couple of years yeah. now. It's called The Source Live, and um, it's on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. And uh, Here we're on just SNN. Yes. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we love being part of your SNN family, and um, it's just been really cool being able to get the message out broader and just being able to put practical tools of what God has for people. Um, in their homes, uh, on their televisions. Okay. Now, when you when you say practical tools, mm -hmm. can you give us an example or some feedback that you've had from your viewers, maybe? Absolutely. We had um, 
we've had a bunch of viewers who've now come and been part of our church community, which we're so excited about. But um, one of the couples specifically had been watching the show for about four months. And they said there were some things they wanted to serve God in such a strong way um, and had a heart for God, but it was in watching the show that all of a sudden they started realizing that maybe some things that they thought were in the Bible or they thought God was saying about their lives actually weren't even true. And they said this revelation of, wow, that's what God has for me. He has a good plan for me, yeah. and that's how I can get it through specific principles and specific you know, ways to, to reach out to God and pray. Yeah that they could actually have those things and their life started changing and um, they started getting all these miracles in their oh, life yeah. and then they started coming to our church and we get to do life with them every week. Phenomenal oh. people, yes. Yeah. Now, is, is, so the source live obviously is live, so you, you broadcast it live, but you also have a parish. Yes. Yes, we, we have a church, church. and uh, we meet Sundays at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. just off State Road 64. So we love when our viewers um, come out and, well, uh, and see us, yes. Okay. Now, the women's conference that we touched on at yeah. the beginning, it's called the She... The She Tour. She Tour. Yes, and um, really, it's we're in our fifth anniversary of, of having this conference, and I'm really excited because what God showed me is, you know, we all want to be empowered, and, and for women, we, we really want to do amazing things in our lives, but what happens is many times we go to a conference or we get empowered and encouraged, and then everything falls apart a couple weeks later because we haven't done some of the background work that needs to be done. So in this, she stands for saved, healed, empowered. So really what it is, it's a journey of let's get some things healed in our lives, let's get some things taken care of and really empower you to live your best life. So we're really excited. Okay, and that's taking place when, That's Joanne? February 6th to 8th, so it's just a couple weeks away, yeah. and it's only $35 to attend. Three yeah. days of amazing speakers and... Yeah. Um, so what can people expect? I mean, your speakers, but... Yeah, we've got some amazing music. We've got such a fun environment. Okay. We decorate the whole place up. We have fun. We have an after party. We have giveaways. We have... Um, popcorn, we have a lot of fun while still just really um, seeing God work in our lives and bring transformation to help us move forward. Okay, so so it's all about empowering women mm -hmm. and giving them answers. One of yes. the things I said, uh, saw also was for um, changing the chaos in their lives mm -hmm. to being and living a victorious yes. life. Yes, exactly. And you can do that. You can. Yes. You can. You absolutely can. You just have to believe you can. That's right. right. And have a little guidance to get there. There you go. All right. Anything you'd like to say before we close today? Well, we just want to invite uh, the folks out that are watching uh, if they're in the, you know, if they get a Sunday off or some, some of them have to work Sundays, but yeah. just mm -hmm. to come out and visit. We'd love to right. just meet them and shake their hand and get to know a little bit about them and come and see what it is if you've exactly. if you've not been before you know it's it's not that's not fair you, know, you shouldn't you shouldn't discount something that's if you've right. not experienced so right. thank you both for all your thank work you. in the community next on suncoast fyi we preview a one-of-a-kind musical play Lil and Lewis is a new play telling the story of jazz pioneers Lil Hardin Armstrong and her husband Lewis. Here with more on this play with music is director Harry Bryce and actor Marta McKinnon. This is going to be fabulous. I read so much about it and I'm so looking forward to hearing about it. So tell our viewers about Lil and Lewis. Well, I, first of all, I'd like to say this is a a well-crafted play uh, that gives us an opportunity to explore a part of our history and uh, it is a play with music uh, it is about Lil who is the second wife of Louis Armstrong oh. and she was instrumental in his success and career mm -hmm. even as a uh, 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 she wrote many of the songs that he made famous. Um, so this is really about Lil's story and uh, you know what she went through all the years she was married to him and he was gone away most of the time. Mm -hmm. 
but she persevered and they were still uh, together, you know, when she was 72, okay. yes, mm -hmm. she was celebrating his passing and then she passed not long after that. Mm -hmm. But um, in fact, she passed at a concert uh, while performing. Wow. <laughs> and the way to go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And she, oh, no. yes, she talks about that in the play. Okay. And so, what, what makes your play so special? Well, I think uh, what makes it special is that we so seldom delve into the background of these, these people we think of as stars, mm -hmm. but who was in the background? Who was there when you didn't know them at all? and was encouraging them and helping them to build their brand. And so this is an opportunity to show, you know, one, how important the African-American female is to the unit, the family, the husband, right. and, um, and how much contribution they make to our, our daily life, ba daily balance. Absolutely. So, um, and it's so seldom that you see this kind of play being produced. Uh, it's usually about the male figure. Mm -hmm. And this time, we get the opportunity to celebrate Lil Hart Armstrong, mm -hmm. who was the backbone of this Oops. man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> Miss Lil, Miss Marta. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Why are you, um, what makes this so special? I mean, coming fr from a uh, hundred years, really, yeah. from yeah. the 1920s to the 2020s, what, what makes it still relevant to you? I honestly believe that the last few years have been very relevant to women empowerment. Mm -hmm. And having uh, such a strong character, such as Lil, or person, a strong woman such as Lil, um, her story being represented in such a way where I have a history lesson now. I know that I was not born in that era. Yeah. A lot of information from um, school was not placed to where she was relevant. Yeah. So it's important that right now in, 20, in the year 2020, we're in a whole new decade. <laughs> and we've made it this far, and it's, it's really amazing to see how far we've come with women mm -hmm. and them being recognized for the, uh, the amazing talent that they have. Mm -hmm. um, she was definitely pushed to the back, but I've never known, and I hope I don't misquote this, um, the, the quote, behind every man, there's an even greater woman. This play is just, it Perfect speaks example. to it, Wonderful. like directly, okay. because it's, it's really important. It's an, it's an amazing story to be able to so tell. Ob so obviously it's about you and, and <laughs> Louis, but what, what, what's the team, what, what's the team life bringing well, us back it, to life like? The, you know, it's an exciting uh, ensemble of actors mm -hmm. who, uh, you know, I kind of think of them as what we would call in the business triple threats yeah. in that <laughs> they're, you know, asked to do almost everything. So, you know, I come from the school of stone soup. Yes. And so I think an actor should be prepared to be whatever you ask them to be a plant if yeah. necessary. Right. Exactly. So um, this group of actors uh, are playing several different characters mm -hmm. within the play because it is historically placed. And so there are other people who were instrumental in their careers as well. Okay. So we kind of bring all of those people to life. All right, now be before we hear Marta <laughs> sing a little uh -huh. bit, we want to let our viewers know that the plays are taking place January 21st to the 25th. The 25th. Um, and you have a couple matinees, yes. okay, and where's the performance is going to be held? It's going to be at the First Presbyterian Church of Sarasota. Okay, so people can go online there if they'd like to get tickets Absolutely, for that. it's okay. in the Fellowship Hall and that's on Oak Street. Lovely, lovely, Laurel okay. Park. So, we're going to have a little bit of music and then you're going to sing a bit for us? Of course. That would be lovely, well, when you're ready. Okay.
Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. A long way from home. A long way from home. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. And there's much. much more of that <laughs> when All right. you come to see Lil and we'll Louie. We'll be there. Thank you yes. both Thank for you being so here today. Thank you. Thank you. After the break, we hear about some exciting upcoming events on the Sun Coast. Coming up this weekend, Sarasota County's Firefest 2020. Come learn how prescribed burns protect our communities and maintain Florida's natural ecosystems. Experience burn demos, helicopter water drops, games for kids, free food, and more. The event takes place Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 1800 Maybury Carlton Parkway in Venice. Plus, Safe Day, a free event featuring local safety organizations. Enjoy hands-on games with activities with the Sarasota Fire Department and the Sarasota Police Department. The event will also feature inflatables, bungee trampolines, laser tag, local food trucks and vendors. Safe Day takes place Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. If you would like to promote your community event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you and this is a complimentary service. Please call our producer, Andrea Chu, at 941-361-4651. To view previous episodes, go to snntv.com. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.